Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, <laughs> this is two videos in a row now that we are starting after the previous video had to end because of some kind of an error in the game. And uh, this time I had to reset my console. Well, not reset the whole console, but I I closed the game, restarted the game, and got back to the point that we were at at the very beginning of this chase. So, if for some reason we don't complete this quest by getting the uh, wagon back, I'm going to end up finding a way to kill myself Whoa! Hi. You helping me? No? Just in the way? Alright. But if I, uh, yeah, if this doesn't conclude here, I'll, I'll try to figure out a way to get myself killed or fail the mission or whatever, because then hopefully it'll restart and it'll work. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. Okay, good. There we go. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. This guy's Thank pretty you, bright. Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank All you. All right. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. So I hope that they pre-planned what their names were going to be. So when they come looking for, what, Agatha? Is that what he said her name was? Epilogue, Part 1, Pronghorn Ranch. So we're into the epilogue, officially. Not that we didn't already know that, but... Alright. I'm gonna miss Arthur's voice. That's a good boy. Alright, well, we got items. New horses are available to purchase in the black... We can go to Blackwater. Ooh. Let's, uh, let me see something here. Okay. 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 This is interesting. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me look inside my house. See if there's anything in here worth taking a look at and picking up. You know what?
so we have we have everything that was Arthur's I'm glad that I didn't sell everything but I did sell that freaking gold brick which I shouldn't have but who knew I didn't I didn't know I had no idea I right, take some chewing tobacco chewing tobacco not the wacky tobacco the chewing tobacco I don't think I need to shave do I yes I guess I do John's gonna grow himself a mustache. <laughs> wow, John, you look like an idiot. <laughs> Let's not pomade your hair. Wow. Let's uh let's let's avoid that. Alright, pick up an apple and some canned fruit. All right. Now, let's head on over. Start work. I wonder if we uh, ever run into Pearson or the Reverend or any of those guys again. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> what was that? Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. Yay. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Not gonna tell him that his new name is Lancelot? I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? I are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I... I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. 
Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Liar! A bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. All right. I'll milk them. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll milk them. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Hey! <laughs> grab, grab the others. Ah! Okay. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Bubbly milk. Bubbly. There's one pail. Squeeze them udders. Get that milk. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid. Left. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. You know what that means, up. boy? Shoveling poop. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that great? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got. I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's a boy. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Time to shovel poop. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh. It splashes. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Stinking piles of Ew. Yeah, it's gross. It's gotta be done. Close up of poo. John Marston, the terror of the turds. It's 
Don't say that too loud. You don't want people to know that that's your name. Say we're almost done here. You finish things up. I'll go check on her. Okay. Abigail, are you going to give us a rash of crap? Which would be very unfair considering what we've been through. Hello, dear. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. No, Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Mm. Oh, it is nice to play as Marston again. I mean, Arthur was awesome. But it's good I'll to play as Marston. <laughs> so we're you gotta figure we're gonna run into Uncle again. At least, right? Hold on guys, I gotta throw my shorts on. Not that you can see that, but Get a little warm in my room. So long pants weren't cool. Um, all right. So we have David Gettys or Tom Dickens. Let's go see Tom Dickens. Cow milking. How's it going? Okay there. Morning. This is fine country. Is that a fact? Yeah, it is a fact. I don't know why you have to be a jerk. That a fact. Bleh. Hey, Tom Dickens, what you doing out here on your own? Fixing the fences. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. Calm down, John. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Don't forget, John, he has a right to be suspicious. You know, you're bringing a complete stranger into your midst. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't Batman, want to. Batman, what's down. going on? Well, so far. Okay. Again? This has been going all right. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Choose the notch and put it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? 
Now the next rail. Fine. But I'll tell you, I was very frustrated with the uh, with the with the game Good. glitching out, and the uh, the worst is that we there's a whole spot in the last thing that I missed because of that game that freezing in okay. the exact same Go place. To the next post and pound that in. Go to the post and pound it in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but. There's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Work, work, work on the ranch. Work, work, work. Being a man. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing stupid songs. Definitely hard work. But again, why wasn't that fence already up? Kind of weird. Jim Mills, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Where are you? Quick as you can. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. I'm Milton. here. Come on, what do you want? Know much about bulls, Milton? No. Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Hunk of chuck. Great. Thanks, guy. I'll get him. I just put that fence up, you jerk. Now. Come on. Let's talk. Uh oh. Oh no, stump. Am I just doing something wrong, or is this supposed to be happening? You settle down. Try to ride this guy. So nice and easy now, boy. All better. Okay. Okay. Now come on, you hunk of chuck. Don't get no ideas. Easy. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. Question: Do you have a guess of what you'll do now? How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Uh. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. Well, I think this is gonna spark his interest in starting his own ranch, and eventually go to Armadillo to do that. We'll make a rancher of you yet. That's what I'm guessing, at least. Not thrilled that somebody kind of spoiled what happens with Arthur earlier. Not that I didn't see it coming, but you know, just concluding that oh, I. You know, I don't, I can't, I can't fight the tuberculosis. And there is an inevitability before the end of the game. I wasn't too I'm thrilled to, to know that in advance. Myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. 
Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. So reading that Otis Miller. Yeah, um I don't know if you were if you were watching at that point. But yeah, somebody like popped on and they're like, Oh, Arthur dies at like seventy five percent of the game and I'm like, Don't spoil it. They're like, oh, well, it's like, well, something else happened, so it's not really a spoiler. It's like, no, you you did, though. You did spoil it. Because, you know, last last video kind of proves that, it, yeah, it was indeed a spoiler. So I wasn't too thrilled. I mean, I knew there was a very good chance Arthur was going to die, but, you know, at the same time, like, I didn't know. If maybe he would survive, maybe, you know, something would happen that, you know, he'd beat the tuberculosis or, you know, yeah, it pissed me off. Mister? Morning, mister. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about life at the moment. Good. Yeah. It's not going to last, John. It never does. It always turns to crap. Mr. Geddes, I... You are slow. Come on! Yeah, I, I wasn't thrilled. Yes, sir. Where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. So far, I like Geddes? Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Uh-oh. Uh, okay then. He's meeting up All with right. a lady. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Let's all run into each other now. Uh, I was the one that said it was really not a spoiler because I actually meant towards this part, but I don't think I noticed they said Arthur dies. Yeah. Yeah. The dude straight up blew it. Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Sure okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Easy. Come on. I like that's giving me instructions on how to calm the horse. And we're, <laughs> we've been through the whole game as if I've never done this before. Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Good horse. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. All right, horse. Come on! Whoa! Yeah, boy! 
Yeah. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah. Burn yourself out, horse. You got some energy? Show me this. All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. All right, now you're all tuckered out, ain't you? That's what you get, horse. Yeah, Jeremiah is very fat. Ow, Jeremiah is dead. <laughs> That's what I get for turning my head to read what, what was in the chat. Oh, turn, uh, Jeremiah. He's fast. He's just not very agile or smart. <laughs> Oops. All right, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Go to Duncan and let him ride, Jeremiah. Okay. Something tells me this is not gonna end well. Right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. And go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Ever ride a horse I'm before? I'm you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Oh, that was very nice of you. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say uh, Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And uh, he's got I don't know. all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Well, that's all to make his father happy as long as, ready to go out without a chaperone. as long as the horse oh, doesn't I'm buck sure him off that. and break his neck. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Settle down. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right. Hello, horses. Yeah, so I was saying, if, uh, if anybody watches this, uh, riding a horse it's a scary thing I mean I've never ridden a horse like without you know without help like when I was younger but just looking at it like a horse is a big animal and could, you could you could get screwed up real easy if it kicks you so that's the end of that you know much about birthing a foal Milton nope not too much oh my god I don't know anything find men like you Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go what? On. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh man. It's not like they use gloves. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Find them, Milton. Come on. And pull. We're pulling a baby out. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> 
I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Miss. Well, Tim. she was flirting with you, John. Yeah, if a horse kicks you in the ribs, you're gonna break a bunch of ribs, and that's if that's if you're lucky. John, you need to wash that that arm, by the way. <laughs> Don't just speak to app. Oh no! Look at his hand. Ah! <laughs> John, you gotta bathe, my man. You gotta bathe. Wait till we get in the sunlight. Oh no! <laughs> John, ew. But yeah, I mean, if you got kicked, you'd be lucky if all it did was break your ribs. Because I mean, they could hit hard enough that it depends on where it hits you. It could rupture arteries, it could rupture your heart, your lungs. I mean, clearly, if it hits you in the head or neck, that's all she wrote. Oh, John, you seriously... Dude, you gotta wash your hand. <laughs> Abigail! Get a tub of hot water, please! Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. <laughs> Find a lake. <laughs> Come on, please. For me. For him. I mean, it is a, his arm is a nightmare right now. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Hey, Abigail, want to hold hands? You know. <laughs> sure. Take him out, please. Can I wash up first? Oh, look, on, magic, boy. magically clean hands. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Okay. Let's go. My horse's name is Rachel. Okay. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? That stream? Sounds good like idea. a good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. And just like in are. Red Dead Redemption 1, Jack has an attitude. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See? You can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Easy. Let's confuse the horse and make him speed up again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Let's play with fire. Even faster, come on. Faster? We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. What's happening? Help! Easy there. Easy there. 
<laughs> and our kid is dead. You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. This is the proverbial if you, when you fall from your horse. But it's also right. a literal. Let's go again. Yeah, he, uh, Jack definitely grows up to be Let's bring up much better. Again. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, too, is like, he... Now really stick your boot in. All right, hey, stick your boot so. in. Come on, boy. Like... You know, Jack had his father that he, you know, he, he looked up to. As much as he's, he was moody, he still loved his dad. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Are we going to get him thrown again? Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Where are we going? Oh, almost ran face first into a tree again. Easy. Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path. And up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Do I actually want to beat my son back to the ranch? I don't think so. Well, we almost killed ourselves in a tree again. Yeah, I don't think I wanna I wanna beat him in a race. I don't want my, I don't want my kid to feel It feels like I'm flying. Yeah, well if you wipe out you will be flying. But I don't, I don't want my kid to feel defeated. I'm trying to build his confidence. heat on him a little bit. I beat you. I beat you. I Well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need <laughs> it. <laughs> Okay. I would like to just investigate the disturbance, but where where was it? one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. Oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! You don't know where I've been, dude. 
All right, I'll, I'll, let me pause real quick to, uh, this is the four gang. Makes sense. Four gang, fourth gang, yeah. Um, you're saying, I can't wait to fully play a full game as Jack. I mean, that would be, a, that would be good joining a gang and development into the gang. Or as John wanted, a good person who maybe becomes a good agent unlike the others. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's. The only the only thing is if you were to play as Jack, it's gonna be pretty much no longer like the Wild West, so to speak. So you're gonna be getting into like World War One era, which in itself could be very very interesting. But I don't think you could really call it Red Dead Redemption. Well, maybe you could, but it'd be very different. All right, let's beat this guy up. Oh, this guy's a chump. I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Boss, boss. Come on now. Get off that man. Get off. I got my hat back. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? You know who can't fight? My wife. You. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Look at his face. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> Dude, I just beat the shit out of wife. you, and you're Whoa. talking shit. Welcome to Big Valley, Tim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again, and you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Dude, we Lord. beat the brakes Stop off that like dude. Goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. You moron. Oh, Abigail, what was I to do? I had to be a man. I had to whoop his ass. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. And I'll tell you, from experience, after you whoop somebody's ass, they don't get up and run their mouth like that. The most they'll do is they'll get up and they'll be like, Ah, oh, fuck you, mother... And they'll get all pissy, but then they'll storm off. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Ooh, that would weird thing happening in my throat but yeah you do, you do not have somebody act like that they're they're gonna find an excuse to like tell you to go screw yourself and then they're gonna they're gonna split because they're gonna be embarrassed mr. Milton I should like to have a word with you mr. Oh, yes hey I heard we had another incident with the uh, Larry me boys yeah there was an Incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? I got on. Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. <laughs> Why are we staring at our more? utensils? Uh, no, no, I'm good. You. I miss Mr. Oh. Pearson. <laughs> That's right, because I'm being okay cook. <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. That's right, I forgot because the first Red Redemption that Good was night, a big, night, a big joke was Good that night, she couldn't Jack. cook for crap. Good night, pa. What the hell was that? What are you, gun. What are you doing? 
Good job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, crap. Oh, you would know how to fight. You're that tough guy they just took on. Okay, that guy's not. I lost my wind. Watch you burn. Put him down, all right. I'll be up in a moment. Nice. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Man, it's me. You can make it where it's mid Ken's through the transition of the next generation, which will work with Jack's age, considering you pick up a year or two later anything? after vengeance. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. Yeah. We. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Yeah, because I mean, you know, the first Red Dead Redemption, it, Jack gets revenge this and then the, the game ends. There's, I mean, there's plenty, plenty of time to, you know, pick it up. But plus, considering, you know, like, World War One, with that happening, like, hey, who knows what you could do with Jack? Maybe Jack serves. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's part of it, is that you're over in, you know, you're, you're fighting over in Europe or something, or Africa. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the it's a beauty of, you know, like I said, it's a beauty of it. There's, There's our cows. All kinds of possibilities. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. Oops, I missed. I missed again. I didn't miss that time. I didn't miss that time either. I missed that time. Didn't miss that time. Or that time. If there's anything I learned from Arthur, it's loot all the corpses.
Bye. Like wiping out an entire farm of bad guys. Oh, he's right here. gun that they're what, is there a gun hidden in here or something for pump action no I don't think so Need a pump action shotgun kidding me Okay, so while you hang out in the barn, I'm gonna loot all your all your family and friends. Because hey, I'm now John Marston, and John Marston is broke. At least I'm broke until I cash in that meteorite that I found. Uh, you could have a huge map bigger than. This one uh, that's transcontinental, which could mean which means so much more story and imagination you could use for it is absolutely amazing. Totally agree, totally agree. And that's the thing, like you don't have to be beholden to the Wild West. You could still take the type of character and re you know just place him in a different land. I mean that's part of like the excitement of a lot of the old spaghetti westerns. Um. Like, you could take that kind of character, and, and like I said, imagine a gunslinger type, like Jack would be, you know, born and raised in this, and then you throw him in a, you know, in an army uniform, and you send him overseas, you send him to, uh, let's see, should I use my shotgun? Of course I should. But, you know, you, you go ahead and, well, hold on, there's a icon for a different gun? What gun is over here? What was dropped? find out what this weapon is first but yeah I mean that that would be that would be a lot of fun you put them in Africa or you put them in Europe or something and what is the weapon I don't see a uh, weapon that I was supposed to pick up not getting that option oh well you ain't so talky now are you Come on, Marson, mess this guy up. You made me drop my hat. These guys are all about headbutts. 
Let me tell you something else from experience. You get, need to be real careful handing out a headbutt because you could split your own head open. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Screw this guy. Alright, special gun up top. Let's go find out what it is. First, let's put our hat back on. Where is the ladder? So the Laramie gang has just had the crap shot out of it. Okay, this is Springfield rifle. I don't know if it's better than what I have, but really nothing kidding me Valerian root Valerian root if I'm correct dead eye experience there we go yeah Marson smash that glass uh Oh, that's a body over there, all right. Where is the ladder? There it is. Uh, exactly, and it would... And it's not like there wasn't cowboys who transitioned to war by being enlisted. Literally, you could think of 20 things to use Jack. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, not going out that way. In other words, the minute we open the door, then, uh... There's gonna be trouble. What's that? Glad to get back on my horse, but uh, we got some looting to do. And hey, these guys are gonna steal from us, right? Imagine someone like Jack going into the military, facing down, and, it, and it's not like it has to be the whole, the entirety of the game, but imagine like, you know, you're facing down a bunch of like, you know, German troops or something, and, you know, you're using your, you're using your dead eye in that environment, like, that would be wild. Speaking of dead eye. Oh, 
I like how it expects me to just get on my horse and ignore all these goodies. Come on. Let's not forget, once an outlaw, always an outlaw. We can go. They could transition to the war like they transitioned to John in this. Oh, totally could. Or much like this, like considering like how big this is, you could, you know, transfer to the, you know, tr you know do a, a transition to the war and then transition back to here and, you know, have it be life after the war and trying to readjust and then if you think about it if he, he can't readjust to civilian life which leads to him being an outlaw like forced we can say he, like what if he gets forced to become an outlaw because like of PTSD or something and he just kind of snaps and kills someone you know in the heat of anger and goes on the run because that's what he grew up knowing was to run from the law Look at this, we're, we're writing the next game, dude. <laughs> we're writing the next game right now. Would be fun. Uh, hey, you're back. I am back. Real well, Mr. Milton. Yeah, I killed hey, everybody. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh. That weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but... How about, Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Don't give me what? that look. <laughs> what? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? John, you're married. You know by now that you're not going to win this argument. <laughs> Look, just do one thing or another. I've often not said two people at once. With games like this, I would happily just give ideas away for free. If I had a good idea, and if it was like, you know, if I gave someone who was, you know, part of the writing process for one of these games, if I gave them the idea and they could make it happen, I would gladly allow them to have it, have it for free. Just for my gaming pleasure, you know, just to have the opportunity... Let me, uh, I'm gonna go milk a cow. Hello, cow. Hello, moo. Left and right, and left and right, and left and right, and left and right. Okie dokie. That's it. I'm not taking that milk with me, I'm just... Okay. So I can just... Milk a cow. Just, just to get it done. I mean, that kind of makes sense because it's along the lines of doing chores at the last. I thought I saw a bull trying to get some from a cow, and uh, I'm gonna say, are we now playing Far Cry again? 
encouraging the uh, cows to get it on. All right, Abigail, Miss Sourpuss. How are you getting on? Oh, now you're Surviving. all smiling. I think. Here. Fatherhood for idiots. Just some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. John, your facial hair grows fast. Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. Ha 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 ha. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. And save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. We're Come just gonna on. teach him how to murder. Of course. So, Jack, you wanna learn how to pull a trigger on a man? It's nice getting out of the Spill house. Spill his huh? guts. Be careful on this. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your Ma was wrong about that. That's right. Batman saying, same. I mean, it helps the company and it allows you to play a more detailed game so you could have more. Hold on. Going off the road. So you have more uh, mechanic where you ambush area by bringing members of your platoon or gang. I mean, hell. You could even start your own. Like, what if you, you go through. The beginning of the stages could simply be Jack joining, like, you could have, like, little flashbacks. And the game could start with him being in the war. So you can have flashbacks as to what brought him to it. But, like, when he gets back to the United States, what if he forms a gang of former soldiers? Pull him short to slow down. Like people that he knew faster, from the war. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Or he never comes back to the States and he's an outlaw yeah. over in Europe. Who knows? There's, again, like we're saying, there's uh, so many possibilities. Strawberry. Twelve years old, huh? Well, I mean, at that age, if you're living out in that time, you gotta be a That's enough. lot more mature than a twelve-year-old of today. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. 
It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I mean, veterans even then were went through a lot of a lot of hell. I mean, at the time, like PTSD was no, just it was simply known as shell shock. And with World War One being the Great War of Trenches and gas like gas attacks and all kinds of horrible, horrible stuff, there's people who could come back just to range or just you know men that are broken spiritually. Here we are. You know, so that it's like turning to crime could be very easy. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. But that's also if they make another one of these and they want to if they want to carry on with the same story. Cuz I mean, you could just start an entirely different western story, you know. It doesn't have to be the same. Hi. I'm here. To Name my name, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Don't say it so loud. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. And here's trouble. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. Except the thing we just got outed. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. okay See, Ma. Daddy needs his hands free yeah. so he can handle his weapons because we're going to get attacked. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just going to turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out... Uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. I mean, the end of the first Red Dead, you definitely... Find your father, okay? I mean, I'm sure I spoke for speak for a lot of people when I say you definitely yes, felt like... You wanted to see more out of Jack right then and there, like, oh, where it ended and you were like, oh, come on, like, just a little bit more, let me, let me do a little bit more with him. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia! This is plenty fast. I don't feel the need to go much faster than this. Oh. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Uh-huh. Give him a switch. Oh. Now, here's the thing. Is there actually uh, trouble, or are we being paranoid? Let's 
saying uh, hell Jack could be used like uncle in the first one but actually doing something guiding this new separate lineage if that's what Rockstar wanted to do yeah Don't the drive us off the bridge. Be all right. ah! Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh boy. Well, so much for the ranch. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh. Bad time to reload, John. <laughs> Sucks when I'm out of dead eye. Uh, I went to the bathroom and shit popped off. Why does this always happen? <laughs> eh, bound to happen. Yeah, just guys that uh, recognize Marson. Apparently, I killed his brother. Oh well, sucks for them. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Keep the eyes closed. As if he hasn't Come already on. seen yeah. horrible things. Or maybe he hasn't, I don't know. Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't no, know they're dead. Choice. You saw that? Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa! Son? Yes, I did. I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Come on, Jack. All the running and everything that we've already been through. You gotta be harder than that. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, Mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hall. That's right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I he was secluded, but they still did a lot of running around. There's still a lot of. I wasn't so sure, but. 
it still saw bad stuff because how many times he was like, I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. Like, he knows there was some bad shit happening. I mean, I don't expect him to be callous, you know what I mean? But I, you know, you'd figure he'd at least be a little more. A little more not freaked out to like to the degree that he's in a panic. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. That's one way to say it, Mr. Milton. Go say hi to your mother. <laughs> say hi to your mother for me. Jeez! What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! What? What do you want? It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Doe. Oh. But again, what the hell were we supposed to do? You know, she was a prostitute for the gang, or or, or at least Mr. like. Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. One way or the other, she traveled with the uh, with there's the. There's a telegram messenger for you, over there. In, near the house. I mean, she's been traveling with the gang and knew him since he was an outlaw from day one. So what the hell does she expect? What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Hmm. Is this suspicious or not? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. Oh I've shit. Got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Jim, we gotta shave, dude. Jim. I'm calling him Jim. John! Your name is John. <laughs> Mr. Jim Milton, a.k.a. John Marston, you need to shave, my friend. Hold on, so let me check uh, real quick how long this video has been. 88 minutes, Jesus Christ. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. Abigail. Ah, uh, boy. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior. And your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. We got jumped by guys I who shot at too us. too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Well, son of a bitch.
Watch you gift us a gun. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I bought you a gun, you bastard. <laughs> well, it's nicer, nicer than what we got on. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd yeah, for do? her to expect you it to totally change. Girl? We hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. I will do just that. Um, saying, uh, technically she's equally liable for the same actions as John. I mean, it's truly because of them being in the gang. Yeah, 100%. Like, Mary being mad at Arthur made sense because she wasn't part of the gang. She wasn't part of that life. So for her hoping he would change, she doesn't understand. Mary, or, you know, Mary was never attached to it. Abigail has been attached to it this entire time. She's been with it before she got pregnant with Jack. So, for her to not understand, you know, like, you're constantly on the run. Now, maybe in, on as they've, you know, tr been traveling over the years, that maybe his attitude and his temper has gotten the better of him and it's kind of screwed them up along the way however in the experiences that we have had so far in this game it's there's nothing he could have done simple as that all right all right let's uh Where was the uh, shaving kit? Where did I shave? Where did I shave? I shaved somewhere in the room. Don't know where I did. Was over in this corner here? Where the hell did I shave? Oops, there it is. It's just not letting me do it. Are you not going to let me shave? Do I really have to be all scruffy face like this? God damn it. Or is it because I'm in the middle of a mission here? It's because I'm in the middle of a mission. He wants me to milk a cow, clean the stalls, Fix the fence. Alright. Alright. Um, so I'm going to do these chores. We'll see if something crazy happens in the middle of all this. But uh, I'm going to be ending the stream fairly soon. i got to be up early to give someone a ride. And then I gotta try to take a nap when I get back, because my band is playing two shows tomorrow. We're gonna play one, and then we gotta pack up and race off to the next one and play that one. Play the, you know, play a second one. Um, he got too far into the gang by that point, he honestly would have been treated as a tra as a traitor. Oh yeah. By the way, because I have to be a, gr a, a grammar jerk, it's not wood of... It's would have. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. And I'm just telling you and anyone else, um, it's not would of, could of, should of. It's would have, should have, could have. Um, you'll definitely catch flack for that. 
Um, if you're ever writing anything professionally or, um, you know, school papers or, you know, in any kind of professional work. And again, not trying to be a jerk. It's just that's like a big pet peeve of mine. And uh, I'm not trying to be a grammar Nazi, but sometimes I can't help myself. <laughs> Abigail, Abigail. Milking the cow, thinking about Abigail. All right. Well, I guess I just do one thing and I'll let the cinematics do it. Our hair's growing long, so apparently we're here for a long time doing this. And no retribution. No vengeance is being taken on us. A few months later. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Yeah, we can go speak with Mr. Geddes. Be nice if we can clean ourselves up a bit first. Oh yeah, we turned into a shaggy, rugged man. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <laughs> <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. He's a good man. He's a good dude. We like him. All right, John. We got to look good to go to the bank. We got to shave. We got to be dressed proper. Can't be looking like a scrungy farmhand. Oh, uh, 
Classic Red Dead Redemption. Oh, man. We didn't shave. We didn't shave. Okay. There's the bank in Blackwater, which we have not really been in Blackwater at all. So that's exciting. This whole area we've not explored. Man, there's still so much more to do. And Sadie is Valentine. So they're kind of equal in distance. Kind of want to see what's going on with Sadie. But I'll figure that out next time. Um, I, I have to take a break uh, until sometime. I don't know. Maybe I'll get on this at some point tomorrow. If not, definitely on Sunday. Uh, like I said, I got... My band's playing two shows tomorrow. I, that's going to burn me out. So um, I got to be prepared for that and all that stuff. So I'm going to end the stream now. I might uh, dick around a little bit on my own, do some hunting or something. I don't know. Um, I don't even know if I need to do any hunting anymore. Except for just wanting to. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me for now. Thanks so much for watching. Good talking to you, madman. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification and button, and do all the YouTube stuff that you do. You all know how YouTube works, so get on to it. And until the next one, as always, guys, peace.